Let's talk about Connor Roy, the forgotten sibling of the Roy family in the HBO series Succession. Today we'll be discussing how Connor, despite being the older sibling, is often overlooked and forgotten by his family, and how this dynamic has played out in the show. I also want to focus a lot on his wedding in the most recent episode, and analyse what insights we can gain about his character from their events. Let's start by looking at a particular scene in Season 3, where the Roy siblings are having dinner together. Kendall, the second oldest sibling, boasts about being the oldest and how that should make him more important. However, it's clear that Connor, the eldest sibling, is present at the table. I am the eldest son! This moment highlights how even among his own family, Connor is often forgotten and overshadowed. But what makes Connor's story even more ironic is that he's the one who wants to be president. In a family where power and influence are everything, Connor's political ambitions are often dismissed and ridiculed by his siblings. It seems that despite his wealth and connections, Connor is pushed aside with relative ease. He couldn't even sing a song on the karaoke machine without getting interrupted. And look at the title sequence. Connor has stood a considerable distance away from his three siblings. He is the odd one out. This is not the first time that the forgotten child, so to speak, has been a part of American politics. In fact, JFK, the 35th president of the US, had an older brother named Joe. No, this isn't the setup for a joke. Joe Kennedy was the one who they expected to become president. However, Joe Kennedy tragically died in the Second World War, leaving JFK to run. Despite not being the first choice for president, JFK defied expectations and became one of the most beloved presidents in American history. He was known for his charisma, leadership and ability to inspire the American people. The similarities between JFK and Connor Roy are striking. Both were overshadowed by their siblings, but had political ambitions of their own. Both had to work hard to overcome their family's expectations and make a name for themselves. And, in the case of Connor Roy, he faces the added challenge of trying to prove himself to his family who see him as nothing more than a joke. But what is it about Connor that makes him so forgettable? Is it his lack of charisma or his awkward demeanour? Or is it that his family simply doesn't take him seriously? Wherever the reason may be, it's clear that Connor's struggle for recognition is an integral part of the show's narrative. It adds a background to his character and highlights the complex dynamics within the Roy family. In episode 2 of this season, we saw Connor in a restaurant a few glasses into a bottle of wine, and he says, The Battle Royale, me and my dad on one side, you guys on the other. The Rebel Alliance. Mm Mm-hmm. How is it out in those hills? This was a comment on how he was kind of left out of the alliance that they formed in the season 3 finale. Now, let's look at episode 3 of season 4 so we can explore this idea further. It's Connor's wedding, and Logan doesn't bother showing up. He throws some expensive gift his way, then doesn't even attend his own son's wedding. The first time we properly hear Connor speak at the wedding, he's complaining about the cake. He comments on how it's inadequate and he doesn't want it served. But I do not want it served, okay? I don't want to see the internal qualities. Yes? Okay. His mind drifts back to a painful memory, the time when his mother died, and he coped by devouring an entire Victoria sponge. The sight of the cake on the wedding table brings back the feelings of helplessness and sadness he experienced during that time. But as he continues to grumble about the cake, he is reminded of his own inadequacy. In his mind, the cake becomes a symbol of his own shortcomings and his fear of not measuring up to the expectations of others. Connor is the cake. Then, Logan Roy stops breathing. Connor was upstaged by him one final time, on the biggest day of his life. We got such brilliant performances from all involved, and the scene was heartbreaking, but wow. 
Logan got one more win over Connor after a lifetime of wins. The spotlight was where he liked it, on himself. Connor wasn't even given a chance to say goodbye to him. The siblings were so distracted with saying their own goodbyes that they didn't even think about him. Shiv made reference to how Roman and Kendall didn't get hair immediately. They didn't even think about Connor. Connor's reaction to finding out that Logan was dead was to say, I didn't even get the chance to make him proud of me. Oh man. He never even liked me. Hey, hey, sorry. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't even know what I mean. Logan will never see Connor become president. He will never be proud of him. It's heartbreaking. Once he's got a better handle on his emotions, Kendall says something really telling. He says, What we do today will always be what we did the day our father died. It's like he's already forgotten that his brother was getting married. He was so concerned about their own appearance that they forgot. They made no comment about it. Meanwhile, Connor is in the next room with his bride talking about postponing the wedding. But all Kendall and the others can do is strategize. They're so selfish, it's always about them. And so Connor gets married in front of no one. The attention not on him, but on his father and the siblings. The same way it's been his entire life. The episode was even titled Connor's Wedding and yeah, it was all about them. Connor Roy truly is the forgotten sibling of the Roy family, despite being the eldest. In many cultures and families, there's the belief that the eldest sibling is meant to be more important than the younger ones. This is often based on the idea that the eldest is the firstborn, and therefore carries a greater responsibility to lead, and set an example for the younger siblings. In some cases, the elders may even be given more authority within the family structure, but this is very clearly not the case for the Roys. Connor's political ambitions are often dismissed and ridiculed, but he remains determined to prove himself. The irony of this situation is not lost on us, especially when we consider the similarities between him and JFK. Despite his challenges, we can't help but root for Connor as he navigates his way through the cutthroat world of politics and family dynamic. This one goes out to the Conheads. Is that what the name of his fan base is? I can't help but think of the Coneheads from SNL. It's kind of fitting that even his fan base name reminds me of something else. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm trying to hit 3k, so if you can subscribe, that'll be great. Let's talk more succession. Hopefully I'll be doing some more videos on succession, so stick around. Here is a meme of the day. Alright, bye. He did. He did. I just, I never got the chance to make him proud of me. He's dead.